So we may get one or two more absolute done deals because paperwork can still be filed, but we're pretty much sure we know where we are. As always, Watford. They are a busy club when it comes to ins and outs. We only just about have enough room. No deals, though, done today in... Just Andre Gray, the striker, struggling really to make his name in the Premier League, has gone out today uh, on loan. But other than that, it's as you were this morning. Musa Sissoko, who played um, against Tottenham last weekend, was brought in. And, and that was a good buy, Tim. I know you liked, you liked Musa Sissoko yeah. and that, and that um, purchase. How do you look at Watford? The amount that they bring in, the amount that they... Mm. It's like the managers, in, out, in, yeah. out. It's, it's certainly an interesting... Model. Model, you know, that, that they have. I like Musa Sissoko, you know, coming in. He, gi he gives them a bit of experience in, the, in that midfield as he gets a little bit older. It's not a brilliant signing, but it certainly gives them some Premier League experience. Um, I think Saar up top will get his goals. You know, Dennis com coming in as a transfer, I think that's, that was also a good signing. I just think with, with, with Cisco Munoz, it's a little bit too cavalier and off the cuff. And when I watch them... I see some players pressing from different positions with really no trigger as a team to go press the ball. Um, they're a little bit too wide open. I don't think that at the back they're solid enough. They're a yo-yo club. They are a yo-yo club, and I, and I do. I worry for them this season. It's going to be a real struggle to stay up. I think, they have to, I think they have to score bags of goals and hope they don't concede, and it's not really, they've not really seen that. And when we look at Watford, mm. we don't know whether Cisco Munoz is still going to be the manager in November or tomorrow, no. or because it's, they just change whenever they want to change. Musto's laughing because he's a big fan, by the way, of the model. <laughs> Did, I say, that? Did I say he's that? He's not on this Putting club. Putting words in my stay, mouth, there, Rebecca. Stay quiet. This isn't yours. They're amazing. We're not on this club. So we're not going to get it's, it's opinion. a opinion. Robbie Earl, please the way, take it away. The way they run their business. Thank you, Rebecca Lowe. Um, <laughs> I actually quite like Cisco Munoz. I like what he's bought. It, they look like they can be competitive. He's flexible with his systems. He'll work against the opposition. Interesting, this week of all weeks, this used to be almost like the, the Troy Deeney club, and, and, and he's, he's now left the football club. And the likes of Saw, Hernandez and Dennis, who've come in at 23, 22 years of age, so he's lowering the age. Sissoko's a good buy in midfield who will bring a bit of stability and experience. And I think they can be competitive. I think this season they look like there's some learnings from last time. It was interesting that Sam Allardyce, we heard him on Sky talking about, sometimes though you can bring in too many players and it's hard to bring those personalities and characters and mould them together. That's again going to be a thing that we see so often at Watford. It hasn't necessarily done them that well in, in the past. I'm just hoping that Munoz can almost have his best 14, 15 players as a base and then bring into that. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7am Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.